Hi guys, it's Ida Kiss Girl here, and I'm finally getting around to filming my What I Got at Briarfest 2014 video. Um, first, I'll start off with some extras, um, and then I'll get into the models. I'm sorry this is super late, but you do what you can. So, um, as you can see, I brought home some programs. Um, I like to keep them just like for a scrapbook that I've made or like just to have them because I feel like it's it's good to keep what you get at the horse park. Um, also, I was able to order the Briarfest 25th commemorative program, which is really cool to like look back and see what Briarfest used to be. Um, because, I mean, I wasn't even alive when Briarfest first started, so that, it was really cool to, like, look back and read it. Um, if you have a chance to pick that up, I definitely would, especially if you're really into the hobby. Um, here I have some, just some extras. I have a tattoo, three magnets, um, from Bro Bloaty with Love. Um, I was ten doors down from Bloaty, so I stopped in all the time because I find him so cute. I want to make my own Bloaty. But, yeah. Um, and then, I managed to keep all of my special rum tickets. One of them is a little ripped, but that's okay. Um, I bought this sweatshirt. It just says Kentucky Horse Park on it. It's gray. And then I also bought a shirt with the same logo on it, but it's green. Which is my favorite color. Um, and then I bought three in total pony pouches. Um, I have this stable mate one for a stable mate I will show you. And a traditional one that ended up not getting used. Um, cause I actually had to buy another one for the horse that I was gonna put it in because he was too long. Uh, that's just my phone. Alright, moving on to models. Um, this is my out of box celebration model. Um, I actually really like him. I love glossies, so, um, I think he's really cool. His eyes are a little weird if you can see that, but, you know. He's cool. He's sitting over there with my other gaffer, Tkanga. Um, I guess we'll move up here. This is Foldzilla, the new 1-6 scale full that Briar just put out. Um, she's pretty cool. I got her for a really good price. I saw her for pretty expensive, but um, I kind of hope they release an adult in this, in this scale. Because um, that would be kind of cool. So yeah, that's Foldzilla. And um, none of these models have... I haven't named any of them yet just because... Uh, I'm not good at naming. I still have like 20 horses that don't have names, so I'm kind of a little bit in trouble, but that's all right. Um, this horse I actually pre, like, um, I asked her to hold for me. She was from Blab. Uh, I got him for a steal. I saw a lot of other, th this is Toby, the 2009 um, Briarfest store special. I saw a ton of others for like 60 or $75, but I got him for 35 from, um, a girl on Blab, so I thank you, Mackenzie, that was awesome. Um, he doesn't stand straight, but, I mean, I don't show, so that's not really a problem. I think he's adorable. Um, and then this guy I got Friday night, at the, I mean, Thursday night at the Clarion. This is Lionheart. I've been looking for him um, forever because I'm never around when the dealers get the shipment in and they're all sold out by the time I go because um, I only have really one Briar dealer near me. Um, but yeah, he's gorgeous. He's not really that glossy. Like, he's very semi glossy. Um, but that's alright. He's still super cool. I love his coloring and I love his pattern. So, yeah, that's Lionheart. Um, and then moving up here to this girl. Um, I found her Thursday night at the Clarion as well. I stayed at the Clarion if you guys didn't know. Um, this is Heartland. And as soon as I saw her, I was like looking for her in the rooms. I was trying to find one. This was the first one I saw. And I rushed into the room, and I saw her on the table, and I, I picked her up, I asked the owner, I was like, can I pick her up? And she was like, yeah. So I picked her up, and I saw that her price tag was $90, so I snatched the money right out of my wallet, and I gave it to the woman. <laughs> I was so excited about her. Um, I hadn't really, like, wanted her beforehand, um, but, like, I saw her a couple weeks ago, and I just, like, she's gorgeous. Um, I love glossies, as you can tell. Um... 
So yeah, that's Harlan, and uh, I was walking around with my boyfriend when I found her, and I handed her to him because he was holding all my models as I went into the rooms, and a lot of people were like stopping and be like, oh, Heartland. Uh, and I kind of felt pretty cool after that. But yeah, that's Heartland. And then I guess we'll move over here to this guy. Um, this was the first horse I bought. I was like looking around. When I went to Briarfest in 2010, I just bought whatever I saw that I liked. But I had a lot of trouble finding horses that I liked this year for some reason in the room sales. So um, I ended up just finding him. He's a body. He has some scratches. Like one. Oh, maybe it would be easier to zoom in with my camera. One right there on his hip. You probably can't see it. And then he has a couple on his back, but he was $30, so I was like, alright, I just have to, I have to get it over with and put the money out and just buy him. So, yeah, he's gorgeous, though. I don't think I'm going to get him repainted or anything. Um, I love his coloring. This is a Peterstone Tennessee Walker. I actually got four Peterstones, which is a record for me. Uh, I only have two. So now I have six. Alright, moving on. I wanted to get some ishes this year. Um... This is the last ish I bought. I was walking around Saturday night, um, and the woman was like, she was marked down from $115 to $45. And I was like looking at her and looking at her, and the woman's like, I'll take $44. So I was like, okay, I, I understand your pain. I was trying to get rid of the last horses I was selling, so I just bought her. Um, this is Karat. I think her name is her Carrot. She is a 2002 Equalocity model. Um, her face is really cute. I love this. Um, customization with a short mane but yeah this is Karat she's cute um, and then the first ish I actually ended up buying was this guy his name's Gigabyte um, and he's a glossy um, and he has a star and a snip and I don't know why my camera doesn't focus and I don't know how to get it to focus because you know this is new new camera but yeah that go boy is gorgeous he has leg bearing the works um, and then that last ish I bought was from the Peterstone Room in the Clarion. My mom went in with me and she said this horse looks like my horse, which he is the same color and my horse has a round dot on his face and he has one white cornet bent on his back right. So my mom's like, I love him, like he's gorgeous. Um, and she told me at the beginning of the weekend she was going to buy me a model. And I was like, alright mom, I'll let you know when I see one. She was like, I'll put $80 towards him. And he was 120 So I actually only, only ended up paying 40 for this guy. This is Peter's cow pony. Um, and he has a windswept uh, mane and tail. There we go. And he is just so cute. Um, I actually picked up the glossy at first, but I actually ended up picking every single one of these models they had in the student room up and like, comparing them, and this guy's face spoke to me the most. So yeah, he was the most expensive OF that I bought um, this weekend. And then moving on to the last original finished model that I got other than my special runs. This is Glossy Spring. I've been looking for him forever and I also reserved him um, from a woman that was selling him on Blab um, and I got him for $80 which was awesome. Um, he's gorgeous. He's not as glossy as my other um, winter songs but stunning. My, he's my, the chestnut is my favorite treasure hunt model. So yeah, that's this guy and he's gorgeous. All right. Uh, moving on to resins and customs, I ended up picking up two of Maggie Bennett's um, uh, mini resins. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on them. Um, I got the jumping mule and the landing jumper. Most of them are drafts, which I like drafts, but I don't like them that much. Um, so I ended up getting these guys. They were $15 each from the trade fair and they were actually the only thing I ended up buying at the horse park other than special runs. Um, and then this guy I found Thursday night at the Clarion as well. He is a custom cantering warm blood stable mate with a um, new tail and he has an abby pattern and I wish my camera would just focus on him because he is stunning. I seriously have no idea how to get this camera to focus. But yeah, that's him. 
you can see I will be posting more pictures of all of these guys on my Instagram. So if you want to see him, just comment and I will post more. Um, and then possibly the most exciting purchase that I've made this weekend was a my first traditional painted resin. I have one traditional resin, but he's unpainted. I'm waiting to get him commissioned. But I got this guy. And he was actually in the room next to me. Um, and I saw him and I was like, wow, he's gorgeous. Um, he is a Sundance Kid resin. He's actually a 1 6 scale resin, which is the same as Fullzilla over there. But he's not, like, that big. I mean, he is pretty big, actually. Like, this is him compared to Winter Song. So, yeah, he's actually pretty big. But I saw him. I love his coloring. He was painted in 2011 by Sue Kern. I don't, I don't even know if it will focus on the signature down there. But, yeah, he is stunning. They show him as half Mustang, half Percheron. Um, and he has two expired NAND cards. But he is absolutely stunning. And then I end up having to buy another pony pouch for him because he was too short for the other one. But yeah, he was the most exciting and most expensive purchase. I picked him up for 300 which, I mean, I thought was a pretty good deal for a painted resin, but I, it took a, a long time to, like, muster up the courage to put that much money out because I'm very frugal. Um, I'm going to end this part here, and I will do my special runs in another part. Bye, guys.